Hi everyone, it's Kathy here. Welcome back to my channel. At kung bago ka sa channel ko, welcome to the channel ko. Um, for today, uh, I'm going to share um, to you kung paano ako nakabili ng farm. Uh, kung ano yung work ko dito. Um, first, um, um, share ko mo yung story ko. Um, during my first three years here in Australia, um, um, parati lang ako nasa bahay. Um, sometimes I travel with my husband because his job um, before um, requires travel very often. Sometimes I go with him. And then, um, yeah, for those three first three years is uh, okay lang sa bahay, but then later on, um, uh, I feel a bit bored and then kasi pati ka lang na sa bahay and then sometimes then um, what triggers me to look for a part time job is because sometimes um, um, if there is a problem at home financially um, sometimes um, nahihiya na rin ako parating lang naka um, hihingi ng pera sa asawa ko although um, my husband has a, has a very good job but I don't want like you know every time na lang naka parang nakakaiha na rin kasi na um pag may kunting problema sa bahay namin sa kanya ako parating nakaka na naghihingi ng pera um my pa, yung papa ko actually may ano siya may pension pero sometimes it's not enough kapag may problema so ayun um kasi ako din yung tipong tao na um Ay ako doon yung parating na lang aasa na lang lahat sa asawa ko kasi um, parang nakakaya na rin eh. So yun, nakapag-decide ako that maybe I should look for a kahit part-time job man lang. So luckily, may kaibigan ako na nagtrabaho sa, ano, sa isang konvento sa mga retired na mga sisters or mga madre uh, used to work there as a cook. And then, um, sabi niya, they're also looking for a cleaner o yung tagalinis. So, sabi ko, yes, sure, why not? I go for it. I'll, I'll go for it because um, lumaki naman din ako sa mahirap. Di naman kami mayaman sa Pilipinas. So, I um, used to do hard work. Yung linis, linis sa bahay. So, I said, why not? So, ayun, um, yun, nakapagtabaho ko. And then, I, I only work two days or three days a week because my husband only wants me to do only a few days because he, he'd rather me to look after him more than you know uh, work as a full-time so it's also convenient for me because I'm only looking for a just for a part-time job lang na money um, so I and I work um, two or three days that mostly that during those um, time, time the, my manager asked me to work X but mainly I, I work I choose two days but then um, she asked me if I can do extra day, so I sometimes do work two days a week or sometimes three days a week. So ayun, um, naka, uh, at least hindi na ako parating naka, naka depende sa asawa ko na every time uh, may problema, hingi ako ng hingi sa kanya. So, and then he also let me manage my own money. Um, Nag, Nag-contribute ako kahit konti, at least may, may share din ako sa bahay kahit konti sa sa bills like bahay sa renta, sa bills um, for food as well. Kahit konti lang, kahit konti na nakapag-share ako. At least happy na rin ako kasi may may part din ako no na nakapag-share ako sa mga uh, expenses. And then um until that time na may enough savings na rin ako, sabi ko maybe it's also good to to start a small business at home para at least yung parents ko if they need money um at least hindi na rin sila pating ano na, na uh, yung every time they need money hihingi sila sa akin at least kapag may business na ako sa Philippines at least they can use that money if they need extra money to help expenses at home so I decided first uh, I decided to build a small restaurant or sa atin it's called Galinderia or a small eatery so kasi um, we built also a sorry sorry store sa parents go kasi our house is just next to the road so um we built my husband built that uh, shop for them but at least my extra income sila but which is also not also enough so ayun um <clears throat> i decided also to build a 
a, a small building next to the Sari Sari store para sa aking small carineria. So, ayun. Um, but, unfortunately, I think mga two months lang ata, ayun, um, failure siya kasi uh, not enough customers. So, ayun, um, nasayang din yung pera ko. Um, okay lang kasi at least andun pa rin yung building. And then, I think after a year, yun, after a year or less than a year, my auntie ako na nakatera sa my, ano, um, just on the top of the hill that they have farm, uh, farm, and they also live next to the door, and I said, um, it would be good if we going to put a restaurant there or a carinderia, yeah, kasi nga, next to the road. And also before, before that, we also used to have a, also a carinderia yeah, then dun, uh, close to their place. Now, which is also good then, naman, um, at marami din customer that yung 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 calendar ng mom ko lasted for more than a year but then kasi nasira yung daan doon kaya ayun hindi siya kaya yun nalugi yung mama ko so sabi ko at least may potential din naman so sabi ko okay I'll, I'll give it another go I'll try it so ayun nag nag ano um kasi walang building yung 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 cousin ko so sabi ko I will spend the building and that will deduct it sa ano uh, instead of renting your place uh, ako mag-spend, tapos i na lang yung kung ano, how much yung na-spend ko sa sa building. But, yung building is only made of um, kahoy. So, hindi siya concrete. Unlike sa place ng parents ko is I made it concrete. So, yun. Also, okay, we, de we made that agreement. But then, um, unfortunately, again, ilang months lang din, hindi din siya nag-successful. So, I think I I spent more than 300,000 pesos na nawala. <laughs> so, parang sabi ko sayang naman din yung pinaghirapan ko na uwi din sa wala. So, sabi ko, ah, ayoko nang magkarenderya or yung small eatery kasi lugi. Um, wala din nangyari. Pra, pra, at least, meron din namang, um, nakabili din ako ng counting lupa doon next to my auntie's ha uh, house. Small lang siya, which is only for worth 20,000 pesos. A small area din, at least doon din sila nag-continue ng ng rest ng ng restaurant kung hindi din siya nag success so, at least may may lupa din ako doon na um doon sa ano um <coughs> malapit sa bahay ng auntie ko so hindi hindi din siya nasayan kasi at least may na may bahay din din doon eh, um kung pupunta yung mama ko kasi may ano din siya doon may farm uh, corn farm so sabi ko ah uh, okay ayoko nang mag uh render ya yeah. So, I think after a few years, um, nakapag-save ulit ako ng pera, sabi ko, maybe I should invest in, mag-invest na din ulit ako, sabi ko, uh, kasi may pera naman din, uh, may, may savings naman ulit ako, nakapag-save ako. Sabi ko, maybe by this time, ayoko ng, um, ayoko ng karenderya. Sabi ko, maybe I will consider to do, um, in a real estate, maybe sabi ko bibili ako ng farm. So ayun, um, search ako, search ako sa internet. Sabi ng husband ko, if you're looking for a farm, um, you have to consider na dapat daw merong um, uh, river. Kasi if ever daw na tag in it, at least we can still get uh, water to water our plants. And ang sabi din niya, uh, it will also be good kung nasa top nasa hill on the top of the hill sa para daw flood free and I said okay and then and, and then ang sabi ko then uh, maybe I would also um, look for yung mga fruit trees ayoko dun sa ayoko sa ano um, corn or rice farm kasi you have to continue planting corn or farm to in order for you to make a harvest sabi ko I would rather to have um, any any farm basa at lang as mga yung mga prutas siya para at least you have uh, ang gagawin mo lang is just wait na lang no uh, kapag may bunga siya you can harvest and less less maintenance siya ayoko yung you know tanim ka tapos harvest tanim ka ulit uh, um, para sa akin in my opinion parang sa akin is may ayoko noon kanya-kanya naman ang tao di ba pero sa akin I'd rather um a farm na yung mga prutas na yung yung ready ready to harvest na you just wait na lang uh, for the season to harvest the fruits so Ayon, I keep on search, searching sa internet and and before that I prayed hard to God 
to lead us to give us a farm um, according to our um, requirements. So you know, I think it takes about um, six months. Yeah, I think six months. That I keep on searching sa OLX because um, there are also and, and sabi namin um, of course clean ti title tsaka uh, mura lang that according to my budget kasi hindi naman million is yung pera ko <laughs> hindi naman million yung save ko sabi ko at least um, I have my limit na at least less than 400,000 pesos na farm na may mga fruits na na ready to you know you can just harvest na lang na lang so ayun, um, until one day, na search ko and I, because every, every day I open OLX if there is a farm that's, um, that, um, na okay sa, sa akin. So may isang farm na na search ako, but then my mom, they went there, but it's not really good because, um, yung coconut trees are almost dead na daw kasi during that time it was El Nino. So, so I said, ah, it's not good. Tsaka mahirap din tubig. Um, walang river at least kahit ang tubig at least my river wala ding river so ayun until one day um this ad come up and um and i said wow it's a mango farm and it's two almost 2.5 2.5 hectares and it's a clean title and na foreclosure sa bank and it's just less than 400,000 pesos and i said okay so I, I called my mom straight away i told her to contact the seller and check the place ayun so ayun na uh, okay na so ayun na, nabili ko na sabi ko wow it's, it's really good deal it's sabi nga yung taga banko sabi niya um we hit the jackpot kasi nga kasi nga um ma malalaki na yung mga puno um the mango trees um i think there were about um uh 30 or something um yung centennial trees na mangoes like more than more than 50 years old mango trees and some are only like 20 years old mango trees but there are about 30 something mango um trees that are already more than 50 years old so sabi niya from that just alone you, you know it's it's really um you really gonna get good harvest from that so ayun so yung husband ko sabi niya Wow, ha? Um, napakamura for that size of land. By the way, mura siya. It's because um, wala po siyang bahay, walang kuryente, wala lahat. It's just mainly a farm, no house. Tsaka, um, and the other thing is, mahirap by that time, mahirap pa yung daan. The road is very hard um, to access if you have a car. So, um, the only way there is if you have, yung, if you have um, things, you have to uh, hire a horse to bring your stuff so um ayun, that's the other reason why it's, it's so cheap for for that size of land and for the um yung mga tanim niya. but if you if you do the market value it's it's according to the bank it's about more than a million because of the plants but it's cheap because of um there's no road access by that time so then, yung, yung asawa ko sabi niya, um, if there is any ano daw, um, land farm na up, up for sale, he's also willing to buy if there is another, na, malapit lang din sa farm. Kasi naingganyo siya, sa so, so, sabi niya, sobrang, sobrang mura. So ayun, um, I told my mom to tell the seller if there is another um, land um, sale, uh, up, up for sale to contact them. So yun, then yun, after a week, tumawag yung seller, sabi niya sa mama ko na there is a, another farm just next to our, to my farm, na is also foreclosed. Kasi um, may ari ng farm, ng farm ko at saka ng, ng farm, ng, ng katabi niya is magkakapatid. So they also both um, uh, nakasangla sa, bang, sa bangko yung, yung farm nila. So after a week, sabi niya that, that, that next to my farm is also uh, for for uh, for close na daw so straight away tumawag yung yung seller sa mama ko then sinabihan kami then i said straight away go for it we'll buy it and so ayun binili namin so yung total farm size namin is about five hectares with which is just um um i i just hit the uh, requirements sa mga 
yung Filipinos na nakapag-asawa ng foreigners, we only are entitled to the maximum size of agricultural agricultural farm or land that we can allow is only five hectares. So I'm just in that maximum limit. So which is good. So I said, well, okay, that's good. So ayun, um, so um, yun uh, five. So almost five hectares na um, na nabili namin. So half sa akin, half sa asawa ko. And aside from, it's also a may, uh, mango farm, but aside from mangoes, it has already um, coconuts, um, coconuts, several coconuts, rambutan, durian, several durian trees, and also um, lansones. It has avocado as well, avocado trees, several, and uh, marang, if you know marang, if you're beside you know you know what marang is, a marang fruit. It has also a jackfruit or nangka, and it has also um I think about five or six guayabano trees and at saka at talagang mat matatamis yung mga prutas na uh, doon sa farm namin. At meron din siyang um ilang um coffees, mga kape, ilang coffee na na, na um, under the mango trees, yung malalaking manga, merong um, mga kapi din doon. So, it was really, really a good deal for that price. Um, marami siyang mga prutas. So, yeah, the bank is really, is really right that we hit the jackpot for, for the price. which was really good. But, um, the road is, is, is still a, a, a problem because it's not accessible. But we, we just recently um, fixed the road. Um, so at least nakapasok na yung mga sasakay namin doon. Um, we are very happy for this because um, sabi ko, um, sa, sarili, sa, sa sarili ko, kahit, kahit um, taga, tagalinis lang ako dito, at least I was able to bought, to bought a farm. Sabi ko, I'm so proud of myself na, na nakabili ako na... Um, from my own money, advice uh, um, in you if you are um, if you have a dream, you work hard for it, and if you have a target, you really work hard for it. Um, um, wag lang din asa sa asawa mo. You also need to make an effort as well to help him as well um, to build your dream. Because okay lang kung super mayaman yung asawa mo na um, can provide. Um, whatever you need, like especially if to buy um, yung medyo ma malalaki na ang halaga uh, mahirap din kapag hindi naman um, mayaman yung asawa mo na umaasa lang din sa trabaho na at least um, para maka-survive so it's good also na tutulong ka din sa asawa mo ta para din maka makabili ng kung ano yung gusto mo at saka also to help your family 